Okay, these notes are all about molar mass, or sometimes called formula mass. Okay, the molar mass is the mass of one mole of any substance. One mole of any element is its atomic mass in grams. This means that the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Where did I get that number 1.01? .01? Well, if you look on the periodic table, the atomic mass is 1.01 .01, um, AMU, or atomic mass units. Well, instead of you writing AMU, all you do is replace that AMU with a G. So if you want one mole of hydrogen, it's 1.01 .01 grams per mole. And that's what molar mass the unit is. It's grams per mole. Not just grams, but grams per mole. Okay? So in other words, I want to write this down. So one mole of hydrogen has a mass of 1.01 .01 grams. Okay? That we can use for conversion factors with the next set of notes. We're going to be going converting from moles to mass and mass to moles. And we need to know how many grams are in one mole of that particular substance. Now to find the molar mass of a compound, you add up the molar masses of all the elements in that compound. So let's look at water. Water has two H's and one O. Okay? So the mass of H is 1.01 .01 grams per mole, and then the mass of an oxygen is 16.0 grams per mole. We're going to add these up. So 2 times 0.01 is 2.02 .02 plus 16 equals 18.02 grams per mole. Now the second step here you don't have to do. You can actually just put the top step in the calculator. But make sure you use parentheses. Okay, you do need to use them. Okay, so it's 2 times 1.01 .01 plus 16. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, so C3H8. So we have three, whoops, I guess it would help if I turned on my pen. Three C's and eight H's. So we're going to do three times. Now we have to look up on the periodic table, and the mass of carbon is 12.01 .01 grams per mole plus 8. And then, of course, hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Okay, and when we add that together, and I like to use my calculator just directly, so it's 4.11 grams per mole. Now, as far as sig figs go, we don't have to worry about sig figs. Just make sure you go two places, so your answer places past the decimal with these atomic masses, okay? So if we keep to that rule of thumb, we'll be good enough. Okay, it's more of addition than subtraction, so that's why we're dealing with it. Okay, so let's go into the next one. Okay, so now we have silver sulfate. So in this one we have two AGs, we have one sulfur, notice there's no subscript by the sulfur, and then we have four oxygens. Okay, so we're going to do two times, now if we look up silver on the periodic table, it's 107.87 grams per mole plus 32.06 grams per mole plus and then 4 times, now 16 is 16.00, just write down 4 times 16. We're not worried, as I said, we're not worried about sig figs here. We're more worried about just getting the numbers. Okay, and when we add all this up, or I put this in the calculator, you get 311.80 grams per mole. Okay, so that's our answer. Okay, last but not least, our fourth example. This one's a little harder. We have parentheses. We have to distribute the two. So we know we have three CUs because your three is next to the CU. But this 2 goes to the P, so that means we have two P's, and this 2 also goes to the O4. So we have eight O's all together, okay? So it's going to be 3 times 63.55, whoops, sorry, forgot the grams per mole. Grams per mole plus... 2 times 30.97 grams per mole. Hopefully you can read that as 30 times 30. Yeah, you know what? Let's fix it. 
there. 30.97 plus 8 times 16 grams per mole. When we're all done, we get 380.59 grams per mole. Pretty easy, huh? Well, hopefully you guys got it. Well, have a good night. Bye.